We're going to do a disc brake upgrade on a 1957 DeSoto Fireflight. Disc brake upgrades for this era car are pretty common. Uh, the reason is, is the engines and the performance of these, this era of cars had started to exceed the braking capacity of the cars. Braking technology didn't evolve as quickly as the engine performance themselves. For our project, we picked the SSBC kits mainly because they actually work with the 14-inch wheels that these cars were designed with. And that's kind of a little unusual because a lot of uh, brake upgrade kits will want you to upgrade the wheels to 15-inch, so it's kind of neat that they can actually still use the factory wheels, factory wheel covers. One of the things I really like about this kit is the four-piston design front caliper. This allows even clamping forces on both sides of the rotor and is more of a performance kind of design. Because the front calipers represent 70% of the stopping force of our brake system, this will ensure that our car will be able to stop once we're done. The back caliper system is often a place where guys overlook. They, you know, because the front, the front braking system is a big, huge part of your braking, a lot of guys will take a shortcut and not do the rear disc brake conversion. However, should you lose your front brakes, you've got to remember your rears suddenly become 100% of your stopping power. The SSBC kit includes a one piston rear brake caliper, but it also incorporates an emergency brake lever, which is an upgrade from where we're at. And the reason is, is the 57 DeSoto, the emergency brakes were operated off the drive shaft. So as you can see, the disc brake kits from SSBC include everything you're going to need to get the job done. The mounting brackets, the bolts, the, all the hardware, the rotors, and the dust shields. So with that, let's get started. <laughs> 